Lesson 90 starts on page 415 and it's about multiplying two two-digit numbers. It's the second lesson on this topic. Remember we first covered this back in lesson 87. And in that lesson we learned to break a two-digit number up into its expanded form, its tens value and its ones value. And we would basically do two separate multiplication problems. One with the ones value by the factor the other factor and then the tens value by the other factor and then we'd add those two results together. Now we're going to do the same thing here. You don't change that basic step or basic format. We'll just simplify the process a little bit so we don't have so much work on our papers. Look at this problem. 75 times 43. Now just follow me and you'll see how we're going to do these differently. First, just like before, we multiply the 3 by 75. So let's just go ahead and do that. But let's not do another multiplication problem. Let's not write 75 times 3 over to the side. Let's just do it right here on this problem. 5 times 3 is 15. And then we carry a 1 over. 7 times 3 is 21. Add the 1 and we get 22. Okay, so we have that value right there. Now, Let's go ahead and do the 40. And so just think about 4 times 75 right now. And so let's just do 4 times 5. That's 20. And so we, let's just put a 0 down here. And then a 2, we'll put that up here. So we know that that's for the tens value. We, we don't get it confused with that 1 that's right below it. That's like our second step. And so we put it above that first step. and 4 times 7, we do that next. That's 28. Add the 2 on there. That would be 30. Okay. Now, remember we're doing 75 times 40, not just 75 times 4. So we need to add a 0. 3,000. So we have our two numbers now, and we can add those together. But what we should have done, and let's just go ahead and erase this. We know this is 3,000. We can remember that. Our first zero when we did 4 times 5 is 20, we should have put it right here. That way we would have had room to add that zero on the end. Because we always know we're going to add a zero on the end, right? So we need to just put that first digit that we bring down in that second part of our multiplication. We just put that above the tens place, or I'm sorry, below the tens place of that first number. Okay, and then we'll put 3,000 like this add those together and so we'll have 5, 2, 2, 3. 3,225 is the answer. Let's do another one, 39 times 63. So first let's do the ones value, that 3 in the 63. 3 times 9 is 27. Bring the 2 up here, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Now let's do 39 times 60. And so we know there's going to be a zero right here. So let's just we can just put it in right now. Then let's do six times nine. That's equal to fifty-four. And so we put a four here and a five up here. So we don't get it confused with that two. And we could even cross out that two now since we're done with it. Six times three is eighteen, and then add five to that, that would be twenty-three. Now we add these two together. 7, 5, 4, 2, 2,457. So as long as you understand the steps here, isn't this a lot easier than having to do two separate multiplications and then add them together? It's a lot neater way to do it. If you're confused on this, go back to Lesson 97 and do that lesson again and make sure you understand the basic process of multiplying two two-digit numbers together. Let's do one more, 72 times 84. So first let's do 72 times the 4. And so we'll have 4 times 2 is 8. 7 times 4 is 28. Now let's do 72 times 80. So we know we're going to have a 0 right there. So let's just do 72 times 8 for right now. And so 8 times 2 is 16. Carry 1. 7 times 8 is 56, plus 1 would be 57. 
And so now let's go ahead and do our addition. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 7 plus 3 there would be 10. And so that would be 6. 6,048 is what 72 times 84 is. Now, you know what you can do on these problems as well is to estimate an answer. Just round 72 to 70, round 84 to 80, and you can think, well, 70 times 80. 7 times 8 is 56. 70 times 80 would be 5,600. So that makes sense that 72 times 84 is greater than 5,600. That's a way to help you think about your answer and give you confidence that you did the problem correctly. So in this lesson, what you learned was just a little simpler way to do multiplication of two two-digit numbers. It's the same process that you learned in Lesson 87. It's just a little more simplified. You don't have to have so much multiplication written out on your paper. Okay, well, that's all for Lesson 90. Make sure you do Investigation 9 next.